Hi, in this video we're going to show you an alternative way to uninstall your apps and programs in Windows. So you probably know that you could go to the Windows settings, then to apps, installed apps, and then here you'll see your programs and some of your Microsoft apps, and then you could manage them from here. You could either uninstall them, uh, modify them if they have that option. For some of the apps you could move them. Or if you like the control panel, you could go there. Then you have programs and features. And then you can uninstall programs from here, but none of the Windows apps. Then, of course, you could see your installed Windows updates and so on. All right, so the tool we're going to be using is called Geek Uninstaller. So there's nothing to install. You just download the zip file and run the executable. So they have a free version and then a professional version with some additional features. So we just have the free version here. So we'll just run it. All right, so this shows the programs on this computer. So this is just a test computer, so there's not a lot on it. Then, of course, you could upgrade to Pro from here as well. And then if you go to the View menu, you can see the Microsoft Store apps. So you can see there's a lot of them on there that don't show up in the regular apps. So now you have an action menu here, which is the same as if you were to right click on an item. So you can uninstall it and do a force removal. Let's say the regular installer is not working correctly. Uh, you could do the force removal instead to kind of force it to be removed. And then you could also remove the entry from the list. So let's say you uninstalled it, but the entry is still there. You could do that. Uh, if you want to go to the registry entry for this program, you could do that. Like so. You could go to the installation folder. You could go to the program website if you want to do that, or you could do a Google search for the program. Then you notice some of the other programs like Adobe Acrobat, for example, if you right click on it, you have a modify option because some programs, you know, like Office, for example, too, allows you to make modifications to the program, you know, like repair installations or add additional features. So you can do that from here as well. All right, so let's try it out on this one on the top here. We'll right click, uninstall. So it brings up the regular uninstaller and it says it was removed. So now it's scanning for leftover files. And so it found some leftover traces here. And then if you leave them checked, click on finish, you could have those removed as well. And then going back to the Microsoft Store apps, let's try one of these. Let's say we don't want the game bar. We'll uninstall that. And I found a lot of traces for this one as well. So we'll click on finish again. And now that's gone. And it tells you your total program, 72 programs at 3.29 gigabytes. And if you want to export all your apps and programs in HTML reports, you could do that. Then you could change the color scheme if you want dark mode and the language and then refresh. And of course, there's a help menu. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download Geek Uninstaller and then you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.